I hate wings. I hate them. Look at the chaos in the background. Finally, as an elder, Scarlet is getting married. Hey, my little Pichirinos, it's time. It is the episode that I dread and worry about the most because today we're going to be doing a sim wedding. Now, have you ever tried to make four sims? Have you ever tried to make two sims? Sit at a table together at the same time and just eat without randomly getting up or one of them goes and sits in the bathroom or one of them just decides to stand and just stare at the other sim at the side of the table. Sims just generally don't seem to enjoy each other's company that much when it comes to doing something as a group, i.e. sitting down. It's hard. It's a struggle. So if you amplify that by a hundred, that is what I like to call a sim wedding. They're nightmares. I low-key hate them. But we gotta do them because some sims have to get married. So that is what we're gonna be doing. In today's episode, it is the Scarlet and Kiyoshi wedding in Mount Komorebi. We're actually gonna be doing it at the residence that we're currently living in. I thought it'd be a nice way to introduce us to the house. I will also be starting this episode by getting everybody dressed up in a slightly more traditional dress. So if you're ready for the calamity and chaos that is about to follow, go ahead and give this video a cheeky little thumbs up. I don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss all the rest of the episodes in this series. So let's go ahead and dress up some of our sims. So I've downloaded, because we're in Japan, Kyoshi's like whole thing was like, I will help you out with your presidency. We will go and live in your world under the condition that once you finish our presidency, we go to my world. So we stuck to that deal. We are now living in Mount Komorebi. We just moved there last episode and we're going to kick things off with a little wedding. So I've been downloading some new uh, CC for this all already for today's episode. I think it's a term for the female version. It's not a kimono. Let me show you on screen. I think it's called a yukata. I need to make sure I'm getting this right though. Give me a hot sec. Yukata, here we go. So I don't know if that's where it crosses over to the side. It seems to be the term for the male and female clothes. So here we go. It's got this band around the middle. This is what I've downloaded for some of the female clothes. I've also downloaded this dress that is kind of inspired by a much more modern take. Here we go. It's the patternage and like the design is obviously inspired by, but it, it is much more of a modern vibe. But I'm kind of thinking I want to go more traditional. So here are the ones that I've downloaded for her. Obviously, I'm thinking red vibes. So this is one of the yukatas. And then there's also these ones here. I think they're all so pretty. And from a lot of pictures that I'm seeing, it's not like a Western wedding where the colors are specific, other than it looks like the guys do tend to wear black. But actually, it looks like red. Red for women. Which is pretty perfect for Scarlet. Because I was planning on going red with her, like, irregardless anyway. So it's probably between this one and this one. I honestly really like that one. I think that one's really pretty. So I think I'm gonna go for that. Obviously, Mount Komorebi is inspired by Japan. But it's not, like, it's not real world Japan. It's an imaginary sim place. So I think I'm gonna go for the Tabi vibes as well. But yeah, like, I like to try and do it inspired by it. But I'm not overly worried if it's not exactly perfect because it's inspired by real world, but the sim world and the real world are obviously two different things. Okay, so the other thing I downloaded, if I can find it, is a hair and some earrings that all together. She's definitely a little bit older than the brides we were looking at the pictures of her, but as part of this challenge, she couldn't get married until she was an elder. So let me try and find this hair. Okay, I literally can't find it. But it's basically like, it's tied up. It's a tied up style. So I was thinking what I would do instead is something like this with something like this. I can't find the earrings that I downloaded either. It's super annoying. Or maybe something like that. Actually, maybe something like that. I think that looks better. Okay, pop some little eye flicks on. A little bit of under eye concealer vibes. A little bit of blush. I feel like we've already made her look like really cute. I want to make sure that like she still has scarlet vibes. Okay, I know I've lost the gray in her hair, but that's specific to certain outfits, so I can't get that back. And okay, there we go. We've got Scarlet's dress done. Kiyoshi. I like the one with the gray that I saw online. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just like that one. Okay, I think I might go for something like that for him then. Oh, that looks very smart though. I kind of like the dark one. I think that is a whole vibe. And then with his hair, I kind of wanted to do like a little bit of a bun bun approach. Oh, it's a bit of a lighter gray than I usually do on him, but that looks really cute. Okay, so we've got Kyoshi done and then Saffron. We've not dressed it in traditional dress as a teenager yet, so this is going to be fun. We'll of course, I have to find a yellowy vibe one for her. Oh, that one's cute. I like that pattern. Let me just put the shoes on. Oh, that one's so pretty. I love the purple. I wonder, because it's got yellow flowers. I think purple's really nice. And then I'm just going to tie her hair up and out the way like so. 
We've just like a little flower in it at the side there as well. Okay, you're looking super, super cute. But I have never actually CC'd up Kiyoshi's family. <laughs> it's kind of bad. I don't know. They were never in it enough until now. So let's find them real quick. By the way, if you guys checked out my stream, we updated Rose's appearance. And also Jasper had quadruplets with... Oh my gosh, what is her name? Cassandra. Yeah, they, they had quadruplets. So we CC'd all those up. You can check that out on more Claire Siobhan. But we are going to be checking these guys out. So these are all of Kiyoshi's family members. I kind of want to rename them. I'm not going to lie. But I'm just going to like quickly, like really quickly throw some CC on them. So there is his brother, Dimitri, his teen brother. This just proves to me that Kiyoshi was definitely made separate from his parents or they did a little bit tweak him because he's got like, again, the issue that so many of my sims have, like there's no chin situation. I think at this point, we've just got to admit this is a bug in the game, right? So there we go. Like I said, we're just speeding through these. We've got Heaven as well. I can already tell she's going to have no chin. I can just feel it. I was also looking like Heaven seems like it might have a bit more of a translation for Japanese or at least Sky. Ten go. Tengoku or Sora. I might just rename her Sora. It was really bothering me that they don't have Japanese names. Like, I feel like that should be coded into the game and it just really annoys me that it's not. Okay, so there we go. We've got Sora updated and then there's also Alyssa who for some reason is blonde. Okay, so there we go. Alyssa Ito and then let's give her a formal look as well. And then to rename these guys just because it's really bothering me that it's like Alyssa and Dimitri when clearly they've both got Japanese names they name their other son a Japanese name. They should all just have Japanese names, right? Okay, so most popular boy's names. Okay, we'll go for Ren for him. And then let's go for May for her. So Alyssa becomes May. Okay, boom. And then the dad has one day left to live. <laughs> We're literally giving him a CC makeover on his final day on Earth. But oh well, here we go. <laughs> So we've got his dad's formal look and his mom, she's younger. She actually has like nine days left to live. So we've got a bit more time with her. We should probably put in a little bit more effort with her. I wonder what kind of mother-in-law she's going to be. Is she actually going to be Loki a nightmare? We shall find out. This is the clothing it's given her. Okay. That looks quite cute, actually. We'll keep her in there. Okay, so Megumi and Naoki have updated appearances and the kids all now actually have a little bit of CC on them as well. Okay, now we can finally, finally get properly moved in to our house and begin our wedding. So this is my Japanese no CC build that I did. I'll give you guys a quick tour of the house. So here is the house. I'm not quite sure where it's got decorations on. I mean, it's got a lot of decorations on it right now, but here is the build. It's using mostly stuff from Snowy Escape. It's very cute, very vibey little kitchen here. And the little separate eating area here. We've got like a little garden in the middle. Which actually makes no sense because like, how does it get light? <laughs> However, the big issue is that this is currently a one bed and I kind of need it to become a two bed. So this is a big, beautiful room. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go a little bit smaller. I need to try and if I can replicate this upstairs. Okay, perfect. Now that all would just makes more sense because I can actually like maybe put that through the roof so it makes sense as to how it would actually get light because right now it's just not making a great deal of sense as to why that garden would exist. So it will mean doing a little bit of tweaking. Okay, so I've separated it into two rooms. I still need to do the roof, but I hate roofs. <laughs> so let's just not focus on it right away. So this is going to be Kiyoshi and Scarlet's room. What I'm going to finally do is add their like snowy mountain journey on onto this wall as like a little reminder. Might even do it downstairs, but I wanted to move on to little uh, Saffron's room in here as well. Cause she's still got some of the stuff obviously from her old room. So I want it to feel, you know, I want her to still feel at home here, even though it's very different. You kind of can low key see into your parents' room from there. So I might put a little curtain on that for her. The last thing anyone wants is like a peek through into the parents' bedroom. Just um hard no on that one. So there we go. Nobody's peeking through now. And then I've got this kind of low style bed. I thought this one, it kind of reminds me of space. Is that actually like R2D2 vibes? I don't know. It reminds me of space. So I thought that would be pretty perfect for her. I'm trying to fit in a bookcase here as well. I'm trying to use stuff from Snowy Escape just so it's like in keeping with the theme of the house as well. Okay, so bookcase there. She's got her little desk here. I might put a little ottoman here so she can like have a little read. Is that going to mess with it? Hopefully not. Because she loves a little reading nook, doesn't she? So I want her to have like a little reading nook. 
And then let's pop some stuff from her old room in here. Honestly, it's gonna be like a pretty massive change for her. Like she's gonna be going to a new school. Everyone's gonna speak in a different language, but I guess she'd have learned this language since birth because of Kiyoshi. I'm trying to fit in her woodworking table, but... Oh, unless it goes at the end of her bed, actually. That might work. I know it's a little bit of an unusual setup. It's really different. Her room is unfortunately gonna be very different to what it was back home, but I think I might put Doggo's bed downstairs now, especially because I don't think he can move around so easily. So what about a little bed next to the fire there? Okay, it's very different. It is very different, but that's what happens when you move to a different country. And we will still have a little area out here for stargazing and stuff. But right now, I kind of need that space for a wedding. So let's get ourselves an arch. And hopefully Hopefully it can fit and I'll do the wedding in the back garden here. And I think because there's so little space, I'm not going to be able to put chairs down, but I mean, it is a little teeny tiny garden, but it is a really pretty house. Okay, let's just finish off the roof. How am I going to do this? Ideally from the front, it would look nice if the roof still looked completely intact. Can I do this as a half roof? Okay, I can't make the roof work because like if I try and like make this a half wall, it gets rid of it. So what I'm going to do is just say burn it and we'll have a whole roof. Okay, after a lot of faffing, I think we're finally done. <laughs> finally, finally done. It is late in the evening though. So these guys are retired. Oh, actually you're retired, but Kyoshi isn't retired. So I'm going to go ahead and get him to take a vacation day. He's still working as a PT for snowboarding. That's one of the reasons he came here, so. Oh, and great, Saffron's going through a phase. She's gonna feel distant and prefer being alone for a while. That's great because her parents are getting married tomorrow, so really good time to enter that phase. And I'm also gonna go ahead and get this one to take a vacation day from school. She's on a great day. I was kind of wanting to send her to, like, I swear I had the school park that let me, like, send kids to private school. But I don't know how you do it. I did it before with, actually, Scarlet when she was a kid, but I cannot remember how to do it nowadays. And I pop that little laptop up here as well. Can I do it on the here, maybe? Oh, only toddlers go to private school. Okay, so she's just going to be starting a new school in a new country. Let's go into Scarlett's inventory. And these are all the pictures they took when they went up the mountain together. So, oh my gosh, they're so much younger here. Oh, now it makes me feel sad that they're so old. I think he's got a bunch as well. Yeah, he does. Oh, so they can remember climbing the mountain together before they got old. So we'll put a mountain picture in the middle. And then we've got Kiyoshi here, Scarlett here here and like the little selfies that they took together as well so there we go a little bit of a um a celebrate oh no okay we'll sort that out but a little bit of a celebration of them climbing that mountain together which is kind of what started their love story as well so pretty cute also where scarlet had all of her like growth and then we've also got those pictures that we took together at the festival where are they oh look how young she looks Oh, I don't take pictures in The Sims enough, but I have a little bit in this playthrough, so I think we should put them all in our house as well. And wedding is tomorrow. Oh my gosh, please don't message him. I thought since I wasn't president anymore that they might stop this, but nope, obviously not. Let's make sure all the beds work. And I'll get Saffron to write in her journal like, oh, move to a new country, move to where dad's from. They're getting married tomorrow. Everything's super different here, but the house is cute. By the way, if you watched my building of this house, I literally spent 40 minutes placing these mats. I actually looked online at like the correct way to place these mats because there's a whole thing about it and if you get it wrong it's meant to be like it's not good it's like bad luck for your household and stuff so I spent so long getting all of these placed correctly is it Takana mats or something I can't remember but I spent a really long time oh she's having a bit of a cry maybe she's missing home missing her old friends from she didn't make that many friends at her old school but she's definitely lives very very far away now from Emily but maybe they can keep in touch online <gasps> and her emotional control is in the range to earn the trait oh this is really good because if we wanted to be an astronaut like I said she's gonna have to have strong emotions emotional control for space. So this is perfect. Okay, everything's going really, really well, which makes sense because as of tomorrow, when we start doing a wedding, chaos will reign. Ali is hanging out on the floor there. <laughs> also, this is such a big difference from that other house, but it only has one toilet and it's downstairs. In fact, I said I was going to set their balance back to what they moved in with, 28k. That's more than enough money, I think, to see them through like this part of their lives pretty easily. <gasps> She's feeling tense about not being president anymore. Look at that, jobless. What will Scarlett do without her job? Her job was her life. It actually was. She's also feeling this way because she's got the workaholic lifestyle. Maybe she needs something just to like keep her occupied. Oh, 
I need to add her like gray streak to her nighttime outfit. Probably also give her some new PJs as well. Maybe we should try and find her like a part-time job, just something to keep her entertained because she's really stressed right now. I don't feel like any of these will. Okay, what I'm gonna do is enroll her with the Ministry of Labor as a speech writer slash like, cause loads of presidents, they always move into something afterwards or like philanthropy, but we did just give all that money away. I'm gonna move her on to being a speech writer cause she was always really good at that. So there we go. That surely counts as a job, right? You're a speech writer. Why do you not feel like you have a job? That makes no sense. Okay, I'm gonna delete that because you have a job now. You're a speech writer and I believe she can write like speeches and stuff on her PC upstairs. So she could actually write books and stuff about her presidency. You make more money after you've been leader of the free world than you do while you're leader of the free world. So I think she'll be fine. Oh, and I want Kyoshi to make breakfast because I feel like he'll be like so hyped. He's like, yay, we're finally back in my hometown. I'm gonna show you guys all the traditional food and vibes. I'm gonna light the fire so we're feeling all toasty in the household. And I'm gonna get him to make a hot pot. Okay. So I'm gonna hold call a book, Ruling the World, volume one. And we'll see how many volumes she can write before she does. My take on being leader of the free world by Scarlett Berry. And we've got a little bubbling hot pot here as well. Nom, nom, nom. I feel like his parents were actually a lot more modern than this and didn't really go for this lifestyle very much. But sometimes with these things, you kind of like, you end up embracing your heritage sometimes a little bit more as you get older. And that's definitely what uh, Kiyoshi has done. So there we go, all having a little morning breakfast sat on the floor together. Well, on these little cute little matte vibes. And we need to organize our wedding for today. You're already feeling flirty, utterly enamored. You guys are like super in love. He wants to send her some compliments and she just wants to woo woo. It's still Scarlet at the end of the day. And maybe her parents' age is starting to play on little Saffron's mind. Cause look, she asked Scarlet, I couldn't imagine life without you. Do you feel the same way? And she's like, yes, why do you even have to ask? Okay, so morning breakfast vibes, cue all done. Do any of you guys need a shower? Yes, Scarlet, you do. Why don't you go get yourself actually like a nice little bubble bath all ready for today. Kyoshi loves a good dog walk and back in his old neighborhood as well. Why don't you go ahead and take Dilbert out? Oh my gosh, and it's a really, Really blustery day. If I was getting married outside and it was a windy day, I would like be so stressed. <laughs> and look where he gets to walk the dog now. It was beautiful by the White House, but look at this. I mean, this is just something else. This is so nice. I would love to go for a dog walk here. Oh, back into his old town. Oh, and there's Yumi-chan. Okay, that's super adorable. I'm glad he gets that little bit of time. Oh my gosh, the old butler congratulating us on our birthday. Hashtag awkward. Okay, and let's go ahead and start this wedding event. It's a wedding. Bride and groom, guests. Okay, so we've got Rose. Rose's partner, Emily, Jasper, his partner, Nanami, Megumi, Naoki, Ren, May, and Sora. I'll try and add all of his kids, but no, I knew I'd, I wouldn't be able to get them all. Okay, I'm gonna, you guys have already seen these. So I'm gonna invite all the little Babalaroos so you can get to meet them. Cause I don't think, unless you're in my stream, you wouldn't have seen the quadruplets. So boom. Okay, 15 guests. And we're gonna be doing it at our house here. And boom. Okay, wedding arch, we've got a wedding arch. We're all good. I guess I should get like a little outside bar or maybe just a drinks tray actually. Here we go. And oh my gosh, look what it's given her to wear. What? There we go. Oh, it's gonna look so cute with everyone in their beautiful clothing. Okay, I can hear screaming, which means the toddlers have arrived. Okay, so, oh, there's Andy. Then we've got Liz here, one of the toddlers. We've also got inside where they are. Okay, we've got Matthias and Kerry as well. There's still one more toddler somewhere. And then here's Kyoshi's dad and his two sisters. There's his mom. Okay. Okay, we've got Rose here as well. By the way, Rose is pregnant. Yep, we found that out in my last stream. Go check that out. It's actually on More Claire Siobhan, or it will be on More Claire Siobhan. And yeah, she's pregnant. So more babies on the way. Ah, uh, and there we go. The final toddler has also now arrived too. Here she is. Um, oh my gosh, there's four of them, so I cannot remember names. Terry Lannister, and then obviously we've got Jasper as well. 
Also, Jasper's wife is here somewhere too. Emily is here as well. Emily's uh, formal was already like preset to be like, I don't know. I feel like she was once against the mood. She's wanted to do a little bit of traditional dress as well. Okay, here we go. Here is Jasper's wife too. So there we go. Cassandra Lannister is here as well. We see c up on my stream. Okay, let's get everybody in groups so that I can try my very hardest to make this wedding work. <gasps> the toddlers are wrecking in my house, my new home. And oh my gosh, look at this one. I never told you to get a drink. Saffron's here having her first ever alcoholic drink. I don't know if you're a bit young for that. I don't know if you're a little bit young for that. And chatting with uh, Jasper's wife. So that's kind of nice. Oh, and someone's just broken our fridge. This is why you don't have family around. It's honestly just so stressful. Oh, Jesus. Like, she's so much family around her. She's feeling a little bit stressed by it all. I don't even blame you. I'm feeling really stressed about everyone being here as well. And oh my gosh, finally. Okay, I can hear the noise. I can hear the noise. It's happening. It's happening. Can you guys watch the wedding? Can everyone get out the way so I can watch the wedding? Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Are you guys so oh my gosh, too big a family. Family is honestly just so stressful. But the main thing is, these guys be looking very beautiful and very happy. Look how cute they both look. Oh my gosh. I hate weddings. I hate weddings. I hate them. Look at the chaos in the background. Half the people are dancing, the other half are arguing with each other. But ignore that. Ignore that just for a moment. Because... Finally, as an elder, Scarlet is getting married. The final part of the Rose Not So Berry Challenge is complete. And Scarlet's married. Oh my gosh. Literally a child in between them both. But we are officially married. They're like, oh my gosh, I hate weddings. I hate this much family. It's just stressful. It is just stressful. But look how happy they both look. Cute and cuter. Adorable, adorable vibes. And oh Jesus. One bathroom for this wedding wedding was not the one because everyone needs we. She's so stressed. She's off to go rant about her stress in her journal. She's like, too much family. I hate it. Oh my gosh. And the toddlers keep wrecking. Jasper, please. Can you stop your toddlers from doing He's like, seriously? Seriously? You Did you have to do that? And I was like, not actually clearing it up. Really, Jasper? Really? <gasps> and the festival of light has started. Is this in our neighborhood? You cannot travel where situations are running. Oh. Hanamigawa Kon. Are we there? Is that our neighborhood? If there was a festival of light in our own neighborhood, that would actually be so cool. Like, during the wedding event, it would be amazing. And bless her to try and stop her mom getting stressed. Saffron's, like, trying to clean the whole house. We might have tried to make a zen peaceful place, but my sims had other plans. Oh, jeez. Why don't we just get everyone some drinks? Nobody's clearing up their drinks, which is super annoying. I probably should try and, like, introduce myself to all of these toddlers so I at least know them. And everyone's got food from somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Why don't I do a little um, hot pot for everyone? I mean, somebody cooked. I don't know who it was, but somebody cooked for everyone, which is nice. Oh my gosh. And there's like little, look, like little stinky baby cups and stuff everywhere. These drinks do not stick around. I literally just did that drink tray and already it's almost empty. Dilbert's barking at the toddlers. He hates them. He's like, these are a bit much for me. We've got a stinky package on here as well. Oh my gosh, it's just... <laughs> Oh, family is stressful, especially family this big. Oh, cute vibes though. Oh my gosh, what are you doing now, toddler? Don't be dripping that on my nice full fur rugs. <gasps> what, you've just yeeted that? Where have you just put it? Where has that just gone? I do not know. <gasps> and then there's another one in here, reckon. Who decided on quadruplets? That is just way too many, way too many. You guys are saying on MCC, I should change it to the maximum offspring. I have it set to six, okay. I'ma change this to two. <laughs> Cause that's, I think when it's six, the average is like three. Three. So I'm going to massively reduce that back down again so we stop having babies everywhere and I don't have to CC up four children. <gasps> And out here, they're wrecking as well. Look at her just looking like, oh my gosh, I would never get away with what you're getting away with right now. But he's feeling passionate. He's happy he's just married. She's also happy that she's just married as well. We got foodies out. Odin out for everyone. Oh, the house is honestly beyond a joke. I low-key can't wait for everyone to go. There's an hour and 25 minutes left of the wedding. Should I get them a cake so they can do the little first slice each thing? I think that would be cute. Wait, wait, wait. I have to buy the cake. Don't. I have to make it. Oh, okay. I didn't get there in time because I can't find a counter to do it on that's free. Every time I put something down, they put a plate on it. However, we got a gold event earned for our wedding and I'm actually so- everyone's leaving. Thank you so much for leaving! Thank you, goodbye! Oh my gosh, what if they- why is everything in the house wrecked? I don't know, but I'm so glad everyone's leaving. Like- 
it's been lovely, but thank you. Goodbye. He's like, right, I'm off immediately to bed. She's like, I'm gonna finally get to use the toilet because people have just been in there all day. Saffron is like, yeah, I've had enough hours ago. I'm in bed now. And Dilbert, I think, is just a little bit shell-shocked. Like, he's like, you're, you're fine because you're quite a quiet child, but those toddlers, those toddlers are not fine at all. And that is really how my wedding episodes plan out. We have got so much cleaning to do. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Have they got upstairs and wrecked too? No, the only place they couldn't manage to get to was upstairs. However, after all that, the two of them are married and the rose part of this challenge is now officially over. It just took an awful lot of pain to get there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very chaotic wedding. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a cheeky little thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next episode where we can get back on with Saffron's part of the Not So Berry Challenge. I'll see you guys then. Bye. Bye.